Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching my channel The Witty Turtle. My name is Anvesha and right now I'm a CMA finalist. So this video is relevant for those students who are thinking of uh, uh, taking admission in CMA course. So basically there are two routes. One is direct entry route and another one is foundation route. So in this video we are basically going to discuss which route is the best for you if you are planning to join CMA or planning to take admission in CMA course. Right? So we will do a good comparison between both the uh, like uh, both the uh, routes so according to your situation you can decide which one is good or which one is relevant for you right but before starting the video I would like to make a small announcement that uh, tomorrow which is 4th of November right uh, which is a Saturday I'll be taking your third class on activity based costing which is relevant for CMA inter new syllabus group 2 students which is there in your management accounting paper number 12 and it is relevant also for uh, CMA final students both old and new syllabus because uh, activity based costing is an important chapter in uh, CMA final strategic cost management paper right so uh, in the next video like in the next class uh, which I'll be taking tomorrow on the platform of unacademy uh, what all I'll be covering I'll be covering the workbook I'll be covering two questions from the study material of CMA final and also the RTP questions of CMA final. I'm not saying CMA inter because it was not there earlier in the CMA inter syllabus. So these questions are relevant for CMA inter students as well, right? So what is the time? I will be going live sharp at 8 p.m. on the platform of Unacademy. And uh, the link for the class has been given in the description box below. You simply need to click on the link and you have to register uh, for uh, the class. And uh, very soon you will be notified when I'll go live on an academy. Right. So don't miss this opportunity and uh, check the link right now. Now let's start with the main content of the video. So uh, if you are a student of class 12th or uh, if you have qualified 12th right now or if you are in the first or second semester of your uh, graduation then this particular segment is relevant for you or if you are uh, in the uh, like in the fourth or in the fifth semester of your graduation then you can skip to this particular part right now. Uh, if you have just come out of school and uh, your graduation, uh, you're in the graduation first sem or second sem, then I think foundation route is the best for you. Why? Because it is going to save straight away two years, right? How? Let me explain that to you. For example, if you register now and uh, so you will be eligible for uh, the foundation exam in the June 24 attempt, right? So if you qualify, let us assume that you qualify foundation because foundation is very easy. So if you qualify foundation in the June attempt itself, then by the end of your first year of graduation, you have completed your foundation. Then you have two years to complete your intermediate, right? I'm assuming that uh, you will clear your intermediate um, like it will take you two years to complete your intermediate along with your graduation, right? So in this situation, what happens if you complete your uh, intermediate in the upcoming two years or maybe one year, jitna jaldi ho sakta hai, utna achha hai, right? So uh, what happens by the time you are done with your graduation, you are already a CMA inter qualified, right? So after that, you can straight away go to your uh, practical training and you can prepare for your finals and you can do all those things. So when you take early admission into any course, so the chance of clearing the course earlier gets increased, right? Now, let me tell you another situation where you have completed your uh, uh, foundation in June 24 attempt, right? And after that, let us assume that you qualified your inter in the next uh, attempt only which is your uh, june 2025 attempt right i'm talking about both the groups so what happens you are in the second year of your graduation and uh, at that time only you have become a cma inter qualified right so now you have one year in your hand uh, by the time you complete your graduation right so in this one year you can either go for practical training if you're not going to college regularly or if you're going to college regularly then you can prepare for one group of uh, final right one group of final because you don't have to do your uh, practical training to appear for one group of final so that is another added advantage so 
I am assuming that you qualified, uh, you you cleared your uh, class twelve by the age of eighteen, right? So after that, three years of graduation, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. So at the age of twenty one, you are either a CMA inter qualified or you are a, a CMA inter qualified along with you have the along with that you have qualified one group of final or at least you have completed the classes of CMA final one group, right? So which is a lot right like uh, uh, after that you can go for your practical training and uh, you can uh, go for the remaining groups of cma final and we can assume that by the age of 23 or maybe 24 maximum you will be a qualified cost and management accountant right so this is another uh, very like I have given so much of leverage in this thing because I'm assuming that not everybody can qualify in uh, the first attempt, uh, qualify inter foundation and final all uh, in the first attempt. So I have taken those things also into consideration. Uh, so if you have taken admission in foundation at the age of 18 or uh, maybe at the age of 19, so by the age of 23 or 24, you will be a qualified CMA, right? I'm talking about the maximum age limit. Now coming to the second segment of the topic, which is that uh, let's assume that you are in the uh, fourth semester or third year of your graduation, right? So you have like one and a half years to complete your graduation. So at this point of time, what can you do? You can either take admission in CMA Inter or else you can start taking classes of CMA Inter without taking the admission, right? Without taking the admission. So now what happens after coming from college or uh, if you are not going to college regularly, so you have plenty of time to prepare for your intermediate, right? So now what you can do, you can prepare thoroughly for your intermediate exam and then you can go for a provisional uh, registration and uh, as soon as your uh, graduation gets completed you can take the exam of cma inter both the groups now i'm not talking about one group i'm talking about both the groups because you have prepared enough for the examination right so this you can do because uh hota hai CMA inter ko prepare karne ke liye. you can prepare very well right so uh, registration can be done after clearing your graduation or you can take provisional admission that is totally up to you but uh, you should start preparing before taking uh, before uh, uh, doing your registration in cma inter right so what happens it saves a lot of time now another thing uh, thing in direct entry is that you are going to save uh, 6000 rupees which is your uh, fee of foundation Right, foundation fee is 6000 ka hota hai. So, agar aap direct entry ke through ja rahe ho, so you don't have to pay that amount. Now, let's take another example that uh, you have completed your graduation and now you are thinking whether I should go for uh, post graduation or I should go for MBA or I, I should go for CMA. So, in that case, what you can do, you can, uh, you if you don't have any financial uh, issues, then you can straight away go for CMA inter. You can take registration in that. Take one year for your preparation and give your 100% and clear the intermediate both groups in the very first attempt. This you can do if you are done with your graduation. Like third year pura khatam hone ko aaya hai or you are in the sixth semester. So this you can do. Now um, in this what happens after clearing your intermediate you can go for practical training. I am asking you not to take uh, not to go for practical training just after completing graduation because uh, see first of all you are not very well versed with the uh, like with the uh, quantity of syllabus right the heavy uh, heavy portion of syllabus because graduation mein humko bahut kam padna padta hai. but in CMA that is like six or seven times of your graduation syllabus so uh, to be in that hab habit or to fall in that habit of studying you need one year so it's better to go for intermediate then you can go for your found, uh, for your uh, practical training then you can start your final preparation that is totally up to you so this is what you can do now coming to the next segment which says that if you have completed your uh, ca or cs intermediate then uh, then you can also go for a direct entry system like if you have uh, after 12th if you have taken the foundation of ca 
and uh, after that you have cleared the intermediate of chartered accountancy exam then also you can go uh, take admission in cma inter through direct entry system for that you need to go and read the prospectus of cma uh, syllabus 2022 which is available in the website so yeah you can go there and read every detail and can choose your uh, like choose what is the best for you right so that was it for today's video if you have any other doubt then you can write the same in the comment section below and yes don't forget to check out the link of the class which i'll be taking on unacademy uh, uh, tomorrow which is given in the description box below so yeah check that out and do share this video with all your ca cma bcom bba graduation friends and also like this video and subscribe to my channel the witty turtle and uh, help me reach 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible because I have so many videos planned after I reach the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. Uh, so yeah, share this video.